Hey everybody, it's Vampire Chicken, the Grandmaster at the Game of Risk, back with a map that I just can't stop playing. We're doing it every week because it is so much fun. It's an epic map, and it's the biggest map in all of Risk. Its name, of course, Command Base C1X, and we're doing the usual settings, progressive capitals with fog and blizzards. So let's get down to business, the business of trying to conquer the biggest map in the game. And uh, I have a lot of fun playing these. It's a very heavy, like, you try to get a bonus and snowball kind of map. Blizzards here are not, like, super insane. This is a nice little choke point. Not that we ever can really go for the middle. If I did go here, <laughs> there is some sort of, like, potential super long-term noob corner kind of thing. Uh, Yellow, who was reacting in the lobby, like, hey, start game, start game, add bot, do all this stuff. He might not have the patience to wait for white to pick their capital. We don't see the white cap, and I'm trying to actually figure out exactly where to go. Because uh, coming over here could also be interesting. Wait, but if I'm on this too, there's just some... There's something about potentially actually winning the noob corner. One of these weeks, we're going to actually win the noob corner. So maybe I take this, assume everybody else is in the noob corner, and then I actually focus on taking Sector E, which sometimes goes uh, forgotten about. Well, I guess Red is not going to forget. Red's way down there. So I don't want to cap in Red's bonus necessarily. I'm going to go here, but my dream is the super noob corner. <laughs> I want the super noob corner. Yellow sees me, red sees me. So I don't know how this is going to play out. It might actually be a little bit difficult for me to get a bonus. My best bonus is almost the middle, which is weird. It doesn't feel like you can take and hold the middle for very long because everything kind of runs through here, but it is a plus eight. So we'll see. The noob corner is this left side. There's a four, a five, and a five. There's also 10s on each sides of the board. A bunch of 8s, a bunch of 7s, a 5. I mean, the bonuses are pretty incredible on this map. But let's see if we can figure out what's up. We only see yellow and red, and they're both pretty close to us, or at least they'll be going for bonuses pretty close to us. So we'll see what we can get done. White today, Jolly Flinders does some attack in here. I would doubt that they're capped in the middle. So we don't really know where white is exactly. But hopefully we find them. Mortimer Crystallon. They will be going for this portion of the noob corner. It seems kind of unlikely that I'll be able to stop them. Like, it's possible I could just take this bonus. What are they doing? They're trying to get something totally different. Why aren't they just fully going for Hangar B? It seems really strange to me that they're not just 100% going in. But we can see all of this. They put a seven way over here. And they're trying to grab as much territory as possible, which makes some sense. Grabbing territory does make sense. Okay. But I think if he's not actually actively going for this, does he think he's somehow going to get this plus 10 and, like, nobody's going to notice? Why is he going for the plus 10? What does he know? There could be other people lurking in the noob corner because we don't see everybody. So there could be some people hiding in the shadows. I'm not sure. Jack the Noble 2 has red. They haven't added to their cap, but I assume they are going to go for this bonus. This makes a, a lot of sense for me. Ah, and I'm not exactly sure. I'm going to go here. I'm not getting a bonus on turn one. This is just to bring the three in. So I guess I'm just going for a lot of territory and a little bit of information with this turn. So I'm not taking this bonus yet. I'll roll a three on one. I'm psycho. You don't know me. And then I'll put the rest of these guys... I'll grab as much territory as I can. Just get kind of a, a little glimpse into the board. But I should be able to on the next turn. Also, was that a wild card? No, it was just a horsey. Next turn, I can take Sector D. Hopefully, nobody is in here. <laughs> but if I can take Sector D, then I'm actually working on the noob corner. I'm just going to be a proper noob corner Carl today. Black is in here. Okay. With this blizzard, it seems more likely that somebody will be able to win Sector H. So Black is in there. Optim versus Princeps. Uh, so maybe that'll be some eventual problem for Red if left alone. Orange, though. Cool. Gioco in Kusina. Now, hopefully they're not back here. They might be. They could be back in the noob corner. They are, in fact, back in the noob corner. Okay, so there's orange, yellow, and me. So I'm actually not able to get any of this. So that must be the orange capital. Now they know that I'm in here. And perhaps they will not be too kind. But they're trapped between me and yellow. 
So I should have actually maybe been going for this one. I could have guessed that somebody would be back here. It turns out it's orange. <laughs> it turns out it's orange. I don't, uh, I don't think there's any way to be nice with them. It's not that kind of a map. This is not your, your good neighbor kind of a map. So white is taking stuff in here, removing whatever yellow did on their first turn. Because yellow spent their turn going for this stuff. So I'll let yellow have this bonus. Because if yellow takes this bonus, then, I mean, they're going to get into a fight with orange, I would assume. What are they going to put on their cap? I wonder. But I also kind of assume maybe yellow didn't optimally defend their cap. A part of me wants to come and see what they got. <laughs> Red shouldn't have a bonus. I need to focus on a bonus, but I'm also I'm just very curious what is on this capital. So red's gonna go for that bonus. I would assume they're not gonna be nice to me. If I take this bonus, I, I must assume that they're not gonna be too nice. So let me see what's going on in here. What I wanna do is take advantage of a fight between these two. It's just a five cap. Okay. I'm going to try to take advantage of a fight between orange and yellow to dominate the noob corner. Because if orange is here, I mean, maybe they do break yellow. It would seem very logical that they would. And I could be putting myself at grave danger here because I'm not taking a bonus. And bonuses, I mean, they're so big. Not getting a bonus means you really do fall behind. But it doesn't feel appropriate. It feels like it's time to just camp stack and wait for an opportunity. Because if orange fights yellow right now, which I will know, if yellow doesn't start with that bonus, we'll know that orange has broken them. And that'll be so good for us. <laughs> Let's see if that's how it happens. My cap will be open to orange, and I have some chance here. I'm assuming orange is going to be mean to them, but it's it's hard to know. So white is up here somewhere. Yeah. Oh, they must be in here. You know what? They're over here, I bet. So I bet white is in Sector C. Their cap, is, I'm just guessing, is the packing station, where all of the packing takes place on this outer space. We're still using UPS, man. It's, <laughs> are we using postal delivery when we're we're out in outer space? How is, how is there a packing station? Okay, yellow uh, did not get broken by orange. Okay, so yellow is presumably going to get very big. Okay. But they are going to come into orange next, which will be problematic for me. Possibly. Possibly problematic for me. So I'm imagining yellow is going to come this way. Into orange. And I don't know where orange's cap is. No, he wants to do something out here. He wants to keep his cap buried so I can't see it. He hates me. Well, come on. <laughs> He's trying to go for some bonus that's, like, insane. Yellow's trying to get, like, some gigantic bonus over here that might never happen. Uh, red wasn't able to get this bonus, and it's possible. So white is up here. Uh, who else was in here? Somebody else was in here. Not red. It was black. So it, it's white, black, red over here. So there really is kind of nobody in the middle. Not that you can take the middle. It might be easier to try to take this, but then we're defending against red. I guess either way we're defending against red. Um... Let me let me gather some intel. So let me come in this direction. Oh, did red had red taken this one already? I don't think so. So I'm not going to go for this yet. I'm going to leave just a couple here as if maybe I'll have a chance of picking it up. What did red say? Red might want to be chill with me cuz I think black is over here. Black hasn't got this gigantic bonus. So probably white is going to have this and then white is going to go into black and then I think this is red actually might be safe to hold this. How are you doing, Orange? Orange starts with seven. Did they have seven? That might just be territory, because it's it's a huge map. I think red was signaling that he wants to be chill. Yeah, he didn't have a capital, so that was all that. White has this bonus. White is up in sector C. So if black is trying to go for this one, sector H, they should run into resistance from white. And white is going to try to grab some humongous bonus in here. They break red, maybe. They possibly broke red. Okay, wonderful. So me staying out of the way has hopefully led to other people fighting each other. Yellow getting big is very annoying, because yellow might use these troops and then one day see my cap. An 11 cap is not super safe. But if white... Oh my gosh, yellow... Yeah, yellow's doing stuff over there. 
I think I should have time. I think red, because he's getting messed with by white, would allow me to maybe hold this bonus. I think we should at least risk it and try. Let's try to get sector E. And then ultimately win the noob corner would be ideal. He's removing white. Okay, but now he's left a three in there, which is annoying. But he gets it out of the way. He goes back, what's on your capital? He's got an eight on the capital. Okay, so I'm gonna try to take this. I'm gonna 100% roll this. 100%, yeah. Okay. I'm not messing with red. If red holds that bonus, I don't know what he will do with it. He might mess with me. This is a little bit tricky. Still seven for orange. I'm very surprised yellow isn't... Like, he capped in the noob corner, but his vision is to go do stuff over here. He's not actually fighting with orange directly. There's some opportunity. Potentially, I might be able to get this bonus if red is willing to be nice to me. But if red holds this bonus, it's very possible that he just decides to destroy me. Because it is, it's a plus seven that we're allowing red to have. Orange is in this bonus they can't even get because of this blizzard. I guess they can. They could come this way. So we'll know if orange tries to take this bonus because they'll, they'll come this general direction. White is still doing very well. Another 12. And they actually, they have a pretty safe bonus. And, but they're fighting red. So what red should do is take white out and leave me alone. <laughs> bots hate me. No, I think it's just the player with white. <laughs> I don't think it's the bots. <laughs> red, just take white out. I'll take as much white out of here as possible. But black, red's going to come in and try to get white out of here. We can get him out together. We can get him out together. I don't know why he's fighting red of all the people. Okay, it's good that red is starting here. He's now going to like come in and remove white as well. But I haven't done anything to red. And it's in red's interest that I remove white. So I think red is trusting that that's what I'm going to do. And once white is out of here, they're not going to mess with red anymore. And then hopefully red doesn't mess with me. At least that's that's what we're hoping. Red seems like a friendly guy. He's in a bad spot. He's, he's saying well played. So I think he is very happy. Good luck. Okay, I mean, you might come hit me. I understand. <laughs> My goal is not to defeat Red. My goal is to get a bonus. And if Red is friendly, then we will both do very well in this game. And maybe one day I'll get Noob Corner. So Orange is going to go for Noob Corner now. Okay, or his portion of it. Trusting that Yellow and I will not mess with him. Joke's on him. I, I, if I've acquired a bonus, I have one task in mind. My idea is I would like to win the Noob Corner. Actually, what I do is I think I'm going to get rid of orange. I'm going to remove orange's exterior on my next turn. I don't know how much orange there is, but if I can get orange out, orange will be trapped behind yellow, and we'll have to get a card against yellow, causing a war. It hopefully leads to me winning the noob corner. It's all about the noob corner. That's what I'm, I'm working on today. So white gets 11 more. Let's see if he makes it all the way around the board and breaks red and me. <laughs> <laughs> the number one, I'm, it's more likely white breaks me than red, I would guess. 10 for yellow. Okay. I get, maybe, does yellow have a decent portion on their capital or something? It does seem like they're going back, probably to cap. So 13 for red. Red could betray me, I just, I would be very surprised. 13 is a lot. So if we get along well, <laughs> this is going to be great. You got beef with white. Your beef is with white. If you want to come up here and go break white, you have at it. You want to start working on that plus 10, whatever, the sector G, go for it. I know black is in here somewhere. But now I get 13. So what I'm going to try to do is knock orange out. Let orange have everything. I'm also going to turn in because that's a strict requirement of the game. <laughs> and I'm going to go into orange right here. And I guess we'll try to take this bonus. Can we take the entire center? Doesn't feel like you should be allowed to take the center. But who knows? Maybe we are allowed. If we're allowed this, <laughs> it's the greediest play. If we are allowed this, white says, or red says well played. I think red will let me have it. I don't think white will. Maybe yellow needs to get a card against me too. I don't really know. But that looks pretty good. It's got the center, the bottom left. All to win the noob corner. Don't, don't get it twisted. This is all an effort to win the noob corner. But I think orange must be stuck behind yellow. And as soon as orange hits yellow, we sweep in there and we, we take all the noob corner. 
We wait for those guys to hit each other. So yellow let orange hold this. Even though yellow had this bonus for so many turns before orange took this. That's crazy. But orange is stuck behind yellow, right? Unless he has some exterior that I don't know about. But I feel good about my cap size. I probably hold at least one bonus. Maybe I hold two. I don't know. <laughs> orange is behind red or something. Okay. Orange has some exterior over here. And I'm not going to run through red to go find it. Okay. If white breaks me, maybe I use it as an opportunity to go to war with white. <laughs> if white's cap is over here, I think he's trapped behind black. I bet black is like here and white is up here. So getting white's exterior off of this side of the board, I think would trap white. Oh, white's in bad shape. Ah, white's down to six, which red thinks is funny, as do I. <laughs> Don't worry, red, I'll take him out of this top portion. 10 for yellow. So orange does have some exterior. Red reacted. So orange must be like in here. Because red was like, hey, orange, please don't break me. So we didn't get the orange exterior out of the game. But we can really mess up white if we're left alone. Does yellow mess with me at all? Yellow actually is going to come up here. So yellow is going to do what I was going to do. Re probably removing white from up here. So white is going to be trapped behind somebody else, which is amazing. I feel like this is actually going insanely well. Yellow lets me hold this bonus. If red lets me hold it, then I mean, amazing. So this also means yellow probably is taking like sector A. So he probably has sector A, which I don't really want him to have. I can trust red. Betraying red might be a very powerful play. But basically, <laughs> do we betray and fight for all this area and then do noob corner last? Or do we go for noob corner kind of first? I'm thinking we do it first. So I'm thinking we got to get a lot of yellow out of the noob corner, trying to cause a war between yellow and orange. And I would like to be nice to red because he's been very nice to me. So I wouldn't, uh, I don't want to do anything too untoward to red. So let's, uh, let's just properly destroy yellow here. Make you a 30, and the rest can come with me. Ah, oh, you left a 10 there. What a weird amount to leave. Um, don't want yellow in here. <laughs> so we'll see how much of this we can get out. I know they have some bonus, so they should be able to undo a lot of this. I'm going to go to war with yellow. And we actually have, oh, not quite the right amount to get them out of there. All right, that's fine. Uh... Gonna leave another stack down here to defend my middle bonus. I think they're gonna come down here and see this. So let's try that. Trades are getting pretty big. But if red's gonna leave me alone, I'm gonna leave him alone. Because I'd, I'd like to be friendly with red and get first and second with him if possible. Although leaving yellow alone so yellow would fight orange next also some, seemed like a very, very reasonable play. Because now yellow is gonna try to break all my bonuses. To break this one though, he's gotta go through red. Looks like black is going to kill white. They would end on five cards. So I don't know if red is able to kill them. If red's able to kill them, and it looks like... It looks like he is? If red's able to kill... Or maybe orange is able to kill him. Wait. I'm assuming black is very weak on this turn. If I had saved my turn in, I maybe could have run in and taken advantage of this fight. But this was a fight that we could see coming, right? Because white is trapped behind black. So that seems very likely. Can orange kill black? I don't know how weak black is. So if orange had a position in here, orange could try to kill black, get five cards. And that might be the best for me. If if red is the one that gets these cards, it could be very bad for me. But I'm certainly not getting them. Okay, yellow is going to hit me a lot. I didn't expect that they'd add to here. Now they actually might be able to break my center bonus. So being at war with yellow is not optimal. And they haven't turned in yet. So we do expect that they're going to turn in. So I do lose one bonus. Okay. Does he break red as well? No way. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He's he's coming to... He's going to try to break my bonus. He's going to go through red to break me? Nah. So if red can kill black, he can probably win the game. If he kills black, that means he has all of... Like all of this. Is he that strong? Oh, no. Black living is good. Okay, black living is very good for me. Uh, let's see if we can get all of yellow out of here. So I'm trying to... Yellow was going to have some turn in that they're going to use to mess with me. 
But I'm going to get all of yellow out here, try to force them to use their turn in. We need more on our capital. Trades are huge. So I'm hoping that they use they have to use their turn in to come do stuff. But black surviving, I think, is very good. Because now black has to go into red. So they need to figure out some way to coexist. So what I'm trying to do is cause a war between yellow and orange in the noob corner. And then hope that there's a war between red and black. So, okay, he does come out. Ah, uh, he's trying to get this bonus. I understand. No, he's not trying to get that bonus. Where is he going? I thought he was trying to get this bonus. Because he that's something that he can get. He just hits me a lot. He just tries to break all my bonuses. Black fights me. That's kind of weird. Because <laughs> you're going to get swallowed up by red. Okay. Obviously, yellow was going to do most of that anyway. So this was probably a waste of <laughs> troops. But I guess he figured I was huge. Okay. Interesting. We'll see how it goes. The orange should be trapped behind yellow. Maybe they get along well and they trade with each other. I hope not. I hope not. Now there's no way orange is still over here, right? The orange's exterior has to have been eliminated. Hopefully yellow is like defending against orange getting a card. Leader has two caps. That's black. Black has the white cap. Ah, oh, orange is over here. Okay. So we want to get that exterior out of the way. Orange still has some exterior over here. Orange doesn't need to trade behind. I'm doing a bad job causing a war between orange and yellow. Causing a war between me and yellow, I've been doing a very good job. Yellow doesn't turn in. Okay. Okay. So I'd like to get as much black out as possible. Getting orange out would also be nice. I want black trapped behind red. Oh, red's doing poorly. Oh no, red. Oh no, <laughs> but he's turning in. He shouldn't be able to kill black. But if black overextended, maybe red wouldn't be ready to take out black from here. But black is going to be trapped behind red. And it looks like black is a bonus breaker. If black was willing to run all the way out through red and into me, then he's obviously a bonus breaker. All I need to do now is really survive other people having trade-ins. Next time I have a trade-in, I should try to get myself ready to do something. It feels like betraying red is always going to be my easiest path to victory, but I refuse. I want the noob corner. But at some point, red becomes strong. If red wins this battle... Oh, can he do it? Is this the kill? He's close. He might not get it. Hang on. He, is, are you, like, really close to killing black, but you failed? I think he's looking for black, but I think he failed. Oh, wow. So this could be all of black. I'm not really sure. I'd be kind of surprised. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. We'll just take all of that. We're about to get hit by yellow quite a ton. I thought maybe he was looking for black. I thought maybe black was in there. <laughs> I thought maybe he somehow killed the rest of black. But that's all right. So black still has just the cap. Black takes a card and passes. Okay. So black's in there with some weak cap. So orange got removed from here. Is there still orange in here? Come on. We need orange to <laughs> not have the exterior. Because next time I have a trade-in, I might want to run through to get a better idea of what's going on with black. I really feel like I'm fighting for the left side because that's it's funnier. It's like the noob corner and whatever. But like really, <laughs> I probably could be taking advantage of the fact that red and black have to fight each other. That's probably where where I really could be doing well. But I refuse. I will fight for the noob corner at all costs. One day I'm gonna get it. I know it's been it's not it's not happening so quickly. Okay, yellow is gonna take all my territory away over here. No, they just chill. Oh, interesting. Oh wow, they just break the bonus and then chill. Okay. Cool. How are you doing, red? You didn't get messed with, so you got 12. Okay. He's taking a card against black. He's taking a lot of cards. How weak is black? I don't have a trade-in, so I don't think that we go check. You could try to card block yellow, aka force them to hit orange. But I don't have that many troops. Hmm. I really want to know what's going on in there. Maybe I do have enough troops. Okay, let's block yellow. Oh, psych. <laughs> psych, yellow. We could have blocked yellow, but we weren't uh, We weren't anticipating a 37. Well played, yellow. Yellow kind of had the idea that I might try to card block him. 
So well played to them. They have an open stack. Maybe they're going to try to turn in before me and kill me, but I doubt they succeed. Orange with 14. Okay. How could orange still have a position in here? We need to get orange out of there. I need to know what's going on with black. I need to see what black does. Black's going to try to kill red if red doesn't turn in, right? Like, this has to be, like, this war has to be almost over. Somebody should be, like, almost dead. Enough time has gone by. Yellow does nothing. Interesting. So red has been broken. But he might have two capitals. <laughs> which means if red somehow has, like, this cap, which I've never seen, so I don't know if there's a cap there. If he has the original black cap, I won't be able to go get in... Too black at all. Hmm. I really want to know what's going on over there. I guess I'm going to go take a look. Fighting for the noob corner is not working. So I could be chill and just, like, take cards and pass. But I'm really curious what the heck is going on over there. How is this? Oh, I don't have a trade in. Never mind. I mean, 29, but it's not. No, I don't think it's really worth it. Okay, take this bonus so that yellow will decide to hit me. That's fine. On my trade-in, though, I'm going to run this direction, probably. So black turns in, and I guess he's going to hit red a lot, because you have nobody else to hit. But maybe they're chill. Maybe they're just taking cards and passing, trying to figure out who gets what bonus. That doesn't work very well for me. If that's true, then the way I win is I, I have to dominate one side or the other. But there's two players on each side, so it's it's not going to be so easy. Let's hope that we see a lot of attacking. No, he's just chill. He's not doing anything. Wow. And Orange still has a way to get cards. Hmm. Orange turns in for 55. I got to get in there and get Orange out of there, man. <laughs> So if black is turning in and stacking their cap, then that means they're going to be very difficult to eliminate. So my way forward is to try to card block yellow or to run in and figure out what the heck's going on. I need to get orange out of there. Orange must still be in here, which is crazy. Why don't you guys knock him out? Why are you guys being nice to orange? People are too nice in this game. Whatever happened to a good old-fashioned snowballing, man? Orange is doing a lot. Is there any shot they're attacking yellow? Yellow's getting nine. I mean, yellow still has hangar B. Okay, let's see how much they do to me. Okay. They're going to break my bonuses, I'm assuming. Okay. And they're going to take a bunch of territory. Okay. They're going to end on five cards. That's it. So we're not card blocking them on this turn. They're going to leave... Okay, whatever. They just do something random. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see what red comes up with. I'm very curious what's going on over there. Red is doing a lot of attacking, but black is just mad chilling. Don't want to start a, any beef with red. I need to know what's what's going on. I need to go over there and hopefully hopefully not start a war with red. A war with red would be pretty bad for me. Hopefully he'll he'll forgive me. I'm sad. Let me see what's going on in here. Okay. So that's black. Ah, orange has a cap. That's why. Okay. So orange has a cap. I understand. Okay. I had to get to know the scene. Orange is surviving back there because he has a capital. Okay, that's that makes sense. Okay. Whose cap was this? This was the white cap. This was the black cap. Okay, this was the original black cap. Okay, so black needs to bury their cap. So black actually could be easily card blocked if these guys wanted to, but maybe they're unwilling. But black turned in early, so now it's quite possible. But he goes into orange? Oh my god, yes! Yes, did opening his cap make him go into orange? He didn't win the cap, or did he? It wouldn't have changed. It wouldn't have changed. Orange gets 11. I don't think he hit the cap. What was orange getting before? Orange was getting 13. He got two less. Ah, black has taken orange away. Good, good, good. Opening up black's cap has caused something to happen. 
So hopefully orange has to hit yellow to get a card. Do we see yellow get less? Yes, they had to hit yellow. Okay, <laughs> so now orange and yellow finally have to fight. Okay, we've, we finally accomplished cause war in the noob corner. <laughs> it's going to be mine. But yellow is just going to ignore that and just take cards over here. So now if I ever card blocked yellow... Yellow is going to hit me a lot. Oh, wow. Where are they going? Oh, they're going to go see what I was looking at. Oh, they're curious. What are they doing? I guess they're going to hit me a lot. But if I were to card block yellow, yellow would be forced to trade with orange, which wouldn't be good. I don't. We don't want to force those two to put aside their differences. What is the meaning of this 60? <laughs> is it just so that you don't get card blocked? Or so you hope? Okay. So yellow hits me a lot. But they didn't give orange a card, I don't think. They do go all the way back or what? Okay. I guess they were just having a look. Now, how does red react? Red's not going to mess with me, I guess. That's nice. So black could be card blocked. He might be showing me that he's card blocking black. No, he's not. He's not card blocking black. He's just taking the bonus. And he's, ah, oh man, <laughs> card block black. Or he's going to let me card block black. I don't want to, but I guess I can. So I can try to card block a black. I will get stuck in there. Okay, they want to go see what's going on with yellow. They're going to open up the yellow cap. Kind of alarming. Okay. And they're hitting a lot of yellow. Curious. Cool. <laughs> I'm all for it. I'm all for it. Uh, I suppose I'll try to card block black. I guess that's one way forward. It won't last forever. Black will be able to get out of it. But let's try that. We'll just leave a stack there. I'll also hit yellow to show my love for hitting yellow. Let's deny black a card. So black has a cap here and a cap back here. So he's getting seven troops. He's going to need to come off cap. And then I'll try to win this little area against black. Because <laughs> it's tough. Black's in a tough spot. And I feel like there's minimum he'll be able to do to me later. I'm surprised that... Uh... Oh, wait, does he have cards somewhere? Oh, he's got cards down here. Oh, no, wait. Without red. I... Oh, but maybe I made him hit red. Oh, maybe he's all the way down to here. So with this, I can't get down, or I can get down there. Oh, I can get down there. So I need to get down here and set up a block on the other side as well. Yeah, because I forgot. He's got Sector G. So he's got some portion of Sector J. And I need to get him out of there and show, I need red to understand that what I'm doing is hard blocking black. So yellow starts with seven. Yellow and orange being friends would be bad. But it seems very likely to happen. Hopefully yellow just keeps hitting random stuff out here. That seems to be fine. And if red wants to fight yellow, I'll fight black. Yeah, yellow hates me. <laughs> yellow wants that bonus. Whatever. What do we care? How does red want to do this? Let's hit him with one of these. By which I mean let's card block black. But I'm not expecting that that's what they're going to do. It'd be weird. If they interpreted that as let's card block black, I'd be very, <laughs> very surprised. Because red is kind of not really doing too much. I don't want to turn in, but I want to show red that I'm trying to card block black. Well played. He actually interpreted it. Wow. He set up a card block against black. <laughs> okay. We should be able to go first and second with red. Okay, okay, okay. Red is a strong player. Let's go. That's very good. That's delightful. Jack the Noble. Very noble indeed. Uh, and yellow doesn't really have anything. So red is fighting yellow while we're red and I both fight black. We'll see if black somehow gets a card. Great. This is perfect. And now let's see if teamwork can get it done in today's episode. Hopefully yellow doesn't give orange cards ever. Hopefully yellow's just doing stuff up here and then orange gets blocked. And they have to go into my cap or into the yellow cap. So there's two potential card blocks that could happen here. All right, probably yellow just broke red. <laughs> so red will deal with that. Yeah. Red gets broken. So red will go deal with yellow. 
And then I'm obviously also willing to work with yellow, to fight yellow as well. Yellow has five cards. Red knows how to card block, so one of us could also set up a card block on yellow at some points, but that forces yellow and orange to trade. Ooh, tough. Yeah, I will be turning in here. And one thing that I want to do is I want to convince black to go for the, fight the other guy by making this stack a lot bigger than what red has. Now let me show red... Did red get all of this out? I'll take yellow out of here. Okay, I'm just doing some random amounts of attacking yellow to show red that, hey, I'm I'm here to fight yellow as well. And let's see how black... Black immediately, wow, black is so fast, he has it, his stuff turned off. Orange is gonna threaten me, I guess. Orange is asking me for a card. Nope, <laughs> nope. No need. No need. Come hit me. If you want to give up your game and you want to hit me, go for it. I'm not going to give Orange a card. You're blocked. You're stuck behind my cap and Yellow's cap. Um, And one of the good things here is that Yellow is going to probably fight Red a little bit harder than me. I'm assuming. Who knows? But maybe Orange also asked Yellow for a card. Who oh, no. knows? Yellow might just give Orange cards. Maybe this game is going to take forever. Okay. A bunch of attacks we don't see. That means it was like orange, right? Hmm. I can't imagine any need to be nice to orange. Maybe yellow just gave orange a card. I'm not sure. You two can work together to try to defeat me in red at some point. But it looks like black is uh done here. Red is going to pick up another bonus. Is there one that he can take? He can take... No, he can't take this. He can just take all of this and see that I'm in there. So he's just grabbing a bunch of territory. He removes there, my su your super secret kill guard on me. How dare you? He's saying well played. It's it's understood that we got a good thing going on here. Eh, I guess I'll take this bonus. <laughs> I guess I'll take this bonus. Just to have another bonus. Ah, there's yellow in there. <laughs> Not anymore. Uh, and you can hide way in the back. That's fine. Oh, that does connect, right? Oh, I actually could have connected that. I could have put one more troop on my cap. No, I played so inaccurate. My biggest mistake. All right, but we'll take that bonus. Can orange get a card? It looks like yellow gave him a card. So yellow gave orange cards. Yellow, orange said, will you give me a card? And yellow's like, sure. So that stinks. Yellow turns in. Unless they get mad at orange, then it is very good. If they get mad at orange <laughs> and they slam into orange, then that's great. They're attacking orange a lot. Wow, what are they doing in there? Here's the secret. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These guys are going to fight. Here's the secret. I come this way to see what's on the yellow cap. There might have been something that just happened here. Yellow is not happy with where orange got a card. Red can probably see the yellow capital. Red might think they can card block yellow and leave some mild stack here. Not entirely sure. Black is just accepting the card block, which is strange in my opinion. It feels like he had plenty of time to fight against it, but he just, just chose not to. <sighs> so what does what does Red do here? Red's like, I don't even know where to get cards anymore. <laughs> you can take them in the center, you can take them up here. I do want to know what uh, what yellow has on the capital. Orange will have some trade in. Okay. Where's all this attacks? Was there yellow in here? Where are you attacking? Where are you attacking? Did you turn in? Did you take one of the black capitals, perhaps? I wonder if he took this black cap or something. I guess we'll know in the next turn. 26. What I want to know is what yellow has on cap. Not a lot. So can I kill orange? Oh, wait, I'd have to go through the yellow cap to get there. Trying to kill orange. <laughs> no, the answer is, I guess, no. That's unfortunate. Okay. I went the wrong way to try to kill orange. <laughs> I did. I thought I would be able to come through here. I, I, I got to learn my noob corner pathing. So now yellow is going to kill orange. Unless orange has a trade-in. They do. So they're going to try to stay alive. They're going to go get that other cap. 
Maybe they're gonna get that capital. I didn't defend it. <clears throat> okay, that's fine. So I could have obviously killed orange there and got those four cards and then also killed yellow. Where are you fortifying? That's the only place to be is that capital. Because you didn't have a cap. Just stay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just stay on your capital. So let's see how yellow handles this. <laughs> I did that kind of poorly. I could have killed orange and left yellow in there. But I want this, I want this noob corner so bad. Okay. Yellow's taking bonuses. I guess we try to kill yellow when they're on three cards, if nothing else. Red has a bunch of bonus. Red has 19. I need to pay attention to what black gets to know if black has been reduced to one capital. It's weird seeing red do attacks that I don't see. So we go for orange, but not on this turn. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this bonus. And I'm just going to stay lined up on orange and yellow for whenever they have a lot of cards. Red says thanks. I'm just taking a bonus. Don't mind me. I'm about to make some eliminations. And then you and I are going to get to fight black together. All right. We do have yellow kind of card blocked. Yellow is weaker. Yellow has less than 100 on the capital. But they are keeping stuff on the capital. So yellow will end on three. We do have a trade in. So we definitely can kill yellow. If we wait exactly one turn. If we wait one turn and they end up on four cards, it'll be super duper mega worth it. So maybe we do try to do that. Maybe I wait one turn. If either of them ends on four, we go for it. Okay, red is very sad because they have to break my bonus. <laughs> well played. <laughs> Breaks the seven instead of the, the eight. Sure thing. Okay. The agreement is very well understood. Black had to hit me to get a card, and I understand. <laughs> so I give him a, an easier card to hit so he doesn't have to be so sad. Orange might be about to be sad if I, you know, can somehow figure out how to actually path this correctly. Especially if they break my bonus. That doesn't really matter, but it'll make me so angry. Oops. Good game. I can just kill you. Don't you, like, <laughs> are you paying any attention? <laughs> Is orange not good? I'm going to get the noob corner very soon here. And I guess we'll kill orange before yellow. Hopefully yellow takes a card here. So after I kill orange, there's like a direct path. Otherwise, I don't know that I'll be able to kill yellow immediately after orange. Unless I did some weird splitting. Nah, it's too hard. I don't think we're killing yellow. All right, I guess we'll kill orange. She broke my bonus one singular time. So probably we'll just kill him. <laughs> okay. So let's do that. Uh, before we f forget, uh, give this guy a card. We'll probably forget. Yeah. I'm not going to be strong enough to kill yellow because I'm not pathed into him. This was to go do all of this. This is to take the end cap of my noob corner. Probably shouldn't have broken my bonus. I would have killed yellow first. Um, we will have a turn in. So we just need something that yellow is not going to go into. We're not exactly strong enough to kill yellow. Don't thank. So we won't do it exactly. Mm. I will just defend this cap. Could be a mistake. If yellow runs all the way around and goes for this capital, maybe I'm not defending it sufficiently enough. I don't have a trade in. So I can only kill yellow if they don't trade in and then open up preferably my big stack. They do trade in. So let's see. They said thanks. Surely they're not going to, you know, they said thanks for not killing them and then they're just going to hit me a lot, right? Okay. So they still want to fight. Oh, okay. <laughs> they still want to fight. All right. Hit me, please. They are going to go get that other capital. 
Okay. So now you're going to be card blocked behind me, though. You're taking all of your cards now? Don't take them all. I think this is poor play by yellow. <laughs> you're very lucky to even be alive. Loses 109. Now I am open to them. So now I can kill them. And then buries their cap, breaks my bonus, weakens themselves even more. So we can kill yellow. We pr probably wait for them to have three cards. But we don't have to. We can just do it now. He goes into red. <laughs> no, he doesn't. He's just hitting me a lot. He doesn't even go back to the cap. Okay. We kill yellow because he didn't go back. I don't know what red saw, but red can kill yellow. Which would give him a double set and another capital. Okay. Does red... Uh... Does Red have any desire? It looks like they're going to go for it. They see a big stack. That's all of them. He doesn't know if it's all of them. He's going to go check the cap. Yeah, the cap's wide open, dude. <laughs> yep, cap is wide open. Wait, I can't kill yellow now. Oh, I can't get to this stuff except to go through red. Oh, no. Wait, maybe I can't kill yellow. I can't kill yellow, right? Because there's a big stack right here. I would have to go through the red cap to get it. Unless red is feeding me yellow. No, I can't get it. I don't have a trade-in. I don't think I can kill yellow. <laughs> Red's doing a lot of attacking, though, against yellow. Do we see him pop out? Do we see Red pop out of here? Yeah, he cleared all of yellow out. But he should have more capitals, right? But I can't. Because of this, I can't, right? Yeah, there's just a big stack here. So what did red leave on the cap? Fake attack? Not gonna hit that. Okay. <clears throat> I couldn't kill yellow. I couldn't kill yellow. Red stopped me from killing yellow. Yellow will take a third card and we'll see if red is able to get it. Also, we did a fake attack here to trick red. Who knows what red's gonna come up with? <laughs> Yellow has quit the game? No. Yellow's still here. Okay. Respect. I need a trade-in to kill yellow. I don't have one. Oh my god, I can't kill yellow. No way. I can't kill yellow. Red can't mess it up. Oh, unless he does, like, a little bit over here. He's gonna, like, take this bonus. Oh, nice. He's not gonna know about yellow here. So I'm gonna be kill guarding yellow, probably. Because I can't kill yellow. I can't do it. But this is perfect. Yeah, it just takes. He's going to let me have the other silly cap. Okay, beautiful. Um, Okay. I'll defend this cap. Yeah, I guess. Not like a lot, though. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. 38 cap. That's fine. I can't kill yellow. <laughs> but I do have a turn in on five. If yellow has a turn in, we'll see what they do. They can probably win this cap back. Or they can just slam into people. Oh my god, they do. But, oh, they don't go for the cap. They're going for the other cap. This, they don't know. This is 110 on there or whatever. Yeah, they can't. They're going to try to get the other cap? No. They're going to take the center bonus? They're going to do nothing. They're just going to survive. Well, you might live longer than black. That's that's very true. <laughs> but this is just getting silly. So if orange hadn't broken my bonus, I would have killed yellow first. And then maybe orange would be alive right now. wonder why they did that. <laughs> Okay. Red maybe is going to come look. What is Red doing? He's going to open up my big cap. No, he's just taking yellow out of there. Good, good, good. We can't have any sneaky kill guards. So I know that this is all red and connected. Um, <clears throat> okay. Uh, this is my bonus. So I'm just going to just going to take back my bonus. This is fair and for me. Oh, I have to turn in. All right. As the rules state, I will be turning in. I will be defending this adequately, but who really cares about it? Let's mostly put troops here. Uh, my bonus! Yes, my bonus. Once you get through this four, you're going to have no idea there's a two behind. Don't fall for that trap. All right, so at some point, though, I guess we kill yellow. <laughs> but it better is if red fails it. But then red will know I'm a sneaky snack. And then what's to happen in the end game where it's just me, red, and black? Black is angry. Oh, yeah, your bonus did get broken. Go kill him. Turn in and go hit him. He's got 200-something troops up there. And I'm tricking you. I'm tricking you into giving me the kill. 
He puts them all there. I wonder if he's going to hit that 200 stack. Hmm, interesting. No, he's not going for it. <laughs> he's not going for a kill on yellow. Yellow's going to make it to three cards. You know it's 200 troops up there. I want to keep vision on what yellow is doing. Don't want to turn in yet. I want vision on yellow. So let's open up that stack, because who cares? <clears throat> Black can't really be that strong. My bonus! Oh, he's going up there. He's trying to hide. So we can, like, card block yellow again. We can set up a card block. <laughs> we can just guard here and here. I'm going to keep my kill guard, obviously. We could card block yellow. But at this point, I guess we're just going to let it go. This is probably the longest game I've ever played on these settings. Usually it's like somebody snowballs, but I guess there's enough decent players. All right, we'll just let yellow do whatever they want to do. Continue to stack our cap for a while. And slowly this will eventually defeat black. Black actually has both caps. <clears throat> okay. But black is just like accepting this. They make this a five. I'm not sure why. Like, <laughs> I'm not sure why. You're going to take a card over there at some point? <laughs> Yellow is going to make it to another turn in. Not a lot of incentive for me and red to do too much about them. And the end game with red and black is going to be weird. Because do, do red and I just chill for a while until black, like, we actually kill him? Or do we betray red and, like, get into some sort of fight? And then what would black do? We have to go first and second with red, obviously. It's the only way. What are we doing here? We got a lot of fours. Okay. <clears throat> My turn. Can't kill yellow. <laughs> what do I do? Uh, I guess I don't do anything. All right. He might be trying to get this cat back. So let's just make sure that that doesn't happen. And I guess we'll give Red a card right here if he wants to go back to that. Okay. What does Black have on caps? Two to three hundred or something? Like, I'm sure it's already... It's got to be looking bad for Black. I might just... I mean, I can start adding a bunch of troops in here. And then, you know, start trying to kill Black. <laughs> Gonna have to hit a big cap at some point. Maybe we could. This is gonna be a while. Maybe we just we just add everybody here until we have like six hundred troops. We just it's gonna be a couple turn-ins. Okay, yellow trying to figure out where to get a card. I like that they're like fully hidden. But five cards, I can't kill them. I maybe should have left some stack here, but then I'm like blocking red. And obviously, what we really want is red to fail the kill, but red's not setting up for it. Nobody's gonna kill yellow. Yellow is finally going to bot out. Okay. Why? You're nice and safe up there. You might outlive black. I'm beginning to plot against black. So yellow bots out. Okay. Suppose this bot will take a fifth card. I guess if it doesn't have a turn in. So it must not have a turn in. Maybe we can set up to, to kill yellow eventually. Eventually pretty soon. Red doing attacks that we don't see means what? Ah, he's back there. He's back there. <laughs> Did you fail? What happened? Did you fail? Did you fail the kill on yellow? And now you're going to fight me? Is that what's up? Did you just fail the kill or what? You had a bunch of troops up there and you thought you could kill yellow. Yeah, okay. He failed it for sure. He's looking. You fool. There's a two back there. Got him. I knew that trick would work. Not in there. Nope. Yellow's not in there. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> That's my capital. Yeah. You'll never know where he was. 
Uh, let's go here. Okay, he understands that he's been outplayed. Yeah, you were outplayed. I do want this cap. I want this red cap, because then I got, like, the two points. I want this cap if it's possible. <clears throat> well played. Well played to you as well. No, I'm very to you. <laughs> Now I've opened up your camp to me. I thought this was going to be weak enough that I'd be able to steal it for some reason. Making a lot of little mistakes. Let's see uh, Let's see how Red handles this one. I think we just chill for a while and then we work on black. Yeah, I think he's down for that. He is going to take this back. That's weird, but okay. Maybe he does fight me now. It would be unfortunate, but understandable. Guy. He's not going to open me up again. He does open me up? Okay, I'm surprised. I feel like we should just chill here and... And then eventually Black dies. He doesn't do, like... He doesn't break all my bonuses or anything. Okay. I think it is time to start dropping some pretty... Pretty mad stacks against the other guy. I trust Red. I want a fair amount. Okay. We'll see how much red is getting. So I'm... He's getting 49. Okay. We do need to take one more bonus away from him, I guess. Because what am I getting? I want a fair amount. He goes there. He sees that I have... I'm setting up to be serious. I need one more bonus. This is fair. I think this is fair. I just want this. This is, and I think now we kind of even out. Okay. And then we can trade here as long as you would like. I think we're fair now. I think we get about an equal amount. Let's see if he's happy with this arrangement. I, th I think we've, he's getting 38. I might be getting a little bit less. I don't want to break him any more than that though. <laughs> if he's out generating me slightly, that's fine with me. Now, I have a kill guard on black that he doesn't say. Okay. So we trade here for a little bit. He does another attack that we don't say. Red has two caps, so I will know when he takes the other cap. I'm getting 40. He's getting like 40. This is perfect. Okay. So I'm going to start adding everybody here each turn. Might as well wait for a fifth card. But yeah, this is fine. I'm getting 40 and he's getting 43 or whatever it is. This is good. 39. Oh, I'm outproducing him by one. Even better. <laughs> Even better. Cool. Interesting. Uh, okay. So let's move in on this guy. Let me see what he's got. I know there's another cap right here. Oh my god, he's got nothing in here. Holy cow. <laughs> Why has he got nothing in here? Okay. One fake attacky. The trick red, of course. And then we all go back here. Now he will see that black doesn't have... <laughs> he could probably figure out that black is in here. Let's see if we can trick red for a second time. Do you think red will go for the kill on black? So black must have like a ton of troops on this other cap. Because he wasn't putting anything here. He didn't put, like, anything at all. Okay. <clears throat> ah, but he can't kill Black. Oh my god, he fed me. <laughs> he fed me Black, too. So now it's gonna be a war between us. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, I understand. You still can't get him, though. You still can't get him. Two kill guards! Yes. <laughs> Got you again! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I thought it was well played myself. Uh, so we kill Black now. And then we try to set up a card block against Red. If we can accomplish this, we win the game. So let's see if that's how we get her done. Uh, you in here. Good game. You know what? Oops, I was gonna... I tried to go back out so I could say good game to him. But alright, we didn't say good game. We're a little bit rude. 
Good. Let the opponents know that I'm rude. Let them know. Uh, you're going to break here and here and then here. Uh, how much? What else do we need to do? We need to defend here. Uh, here. What else? What else? What else? I feel like there's not enough somewhere. There's not enough somewhere. But let's see. Let's see what we can do. So we're coming in like this. We're taking red out of here. Okay. Hopefully we can go fast enough. So they're going to have to basically come off some cap now. Um, so that's all fine and good. I will come off here. I understand that undefends my cap, but it does break one more bonus. Okay, that feels pretty good. Let's bring some more out to here, I guess. Okay, my weak point is here. I got 32. Okay, I didn't block him enough. He's still getting 32. Oh, and also he can go that way. You fool, you shouldn't have let me know. Okay, so he's going to break all my bonuses. I need to break more bonuses, but there's a cap right here. Okay. Do I have a trade on three? No. But we'll see. Hey, we'll see if we can set something up here. So this 27 is, like, not enough either. And we're losing lots of bonuses here. Okay. Um. Hmm. Opens the 68. Does he open the cap? That'd be pretty bad. He does. Interesting. Opens the capital. You better hope he gets a trade on three. All right, so I should be able to defend against 30-something without changing the position. I need to do stuff over here. But without changing the position, 40s will, will cover me. And then I'm going to defend this cap heroically. Uh, so I guess I have to use my cap, basically. Okay. Hopefully he doesn't have a trade on three. If he's got a trade on three, then I guess this falls apart mildly. Okay. Otherwise, maybe it's not so easy for him. Okay. I guess that's that's got to be good for now. Let's see if this holds up. Does he have a trade in? He's getting 31. So he is able to get a card, perhaps. Yeah. Needed just a little bit more right there. I probably could have done it. <laughs> what I also need to do is break these other bonuses. So he's going to make it to four cards. Oh, and I don't have a trade-in. All right, that's okay. That's okay. All right, so, so we don't have a trade-in. I am going to defend this cap because maybe he is going to go for it. I'm going to use the 68. Oh, he's left a stack there. Well played. Okay. Leaving the stack there was was nice. It was a good touch. Uh, I'm just going to leave a random stack here because... I don't know. Hopefully that makes it harder for him to knock all of me out and block me. So let's see how much he does. Red's obviously a pretty formidable opponent. Okay. He doesn't even have to use his turn in because he had his, a wide open stack. Okay, he's trying to break down my blockers. He's going to break all my bonuses. I need to get in here and break more of this stuff. The cap is here. So where do I need to... But there's also another cap in here. But I need to come in here and break this a little bit more. Okay. I need to not let him get so many troops. Let's see what he does. Yeah, he's getting good rolls. Okay. Not a particularly good roll. So he's going to have a trade. And if we get like a trade on three, then I guess we'll be in good shape here. So I'm just going to try to undo most of that. So with my trade in, I guess I try to undo that. Okay. I will try to get more troops into here, and then I think this will be fine. Oh, I didn't. I left this as a 15. All right, if I'm really smart. He's got five cards, so it doesn't matter. But I guess if I'm really smart... I can maybe set this up in some obnoxious way. Does he still have a stack here? He doesn't. Okay. I guess this will not actually be undoing all of that. But I do want to get him out of here. Try to break this other bonus. Okay. Let's take this as well. Um. I guess that'll... Be what it is. Get some more troops down there. He's got five cards, so he's going to be able to hit a lot of that. <clears throat> and then hopefully I have a trade and can undo whatever he does. I do not have a trade. 
Okay, so this is going to be an epic battle. Let's see what he comes up with here. Ah, he's going to undo a lot of that. Okay, retakes that bonus. Makes sense. Maybe he doesn't... Maybe he does open up the cap. He's not going to be able to hit it. He does open it up. Okay, he did want to see. It's a 61. He is going to defend right in front of me. Okay. Doesn't really matter. Actually, it really doesn't matter if he gets that cap at some points, right? Doesn't really matter. Uh, so can I undo all of this? Hmm. Will I be able to undo all of this? Probably not. I need a trade in. He's getting a lot more than me. His, his bonuses, I guess, are a little bit easier to hold. The cap is here, right? So I actually can take and hold this bonus as well. What did he leave in there? He left something awful in there. <laughs> what did he leave in here? 33. All right, whatever. Uh, hopefully... He's saying oops. Because I opened the whatever stack? Who cares, man? Come on. All right, let's grab this bonus. Uh, oh, we can break him. So we should be doing that. Trying to play with a little bit more accuracy now. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, we did we did mess it up a little bit. Let's do that. Does he have a trade in? He's getting still quite a lot. So we're going to trade on four. I don't really care where the plus twos are, but they're all fine to me. <clears throat> then we'll be able to undo him, set up a block. If he ends up with no trade on four, then maybe we're, we got him. But he almost certainly gets a trade on four. Is he going to open my cap again? Okay. He is outproducing me every single turn, which is annoying. He's going to hide some random amounts back there. Okay, so we are going to trade in. We want to make sure that we hit him up here. And then we also got to get him out of here. So let's go here, here, here. This is a fight for the ages. This guy's good. Okay, then we'll get rid of all of this. Do want to break him here. Why has he got some six in here? Um... Okay. I guess we'll put the 61 over here. <clears throat> Slowly making progress. This must mean he has a trade-in. If he's adding here, he must have a trade-in. Winning this cap is not the end of the world. He turns in early to win that cap. I think that's a mistake. Because now on, on two cards, you could definitely be card blocked. Okay. You definitely can get card blocked on two cards. But 40 now might not be enough. He's going to get like 50 or something. What is he going to get? He brought the 93 out. Okay. I see. Gets a pretty good roll. He's getting a lot of good rolls. Must be nice. Okay. Uh, he's probably going to be able to get a card. Maybe this does work out for him. Ah, this is well done. Okay. Okay, well done. Can we, can we block him? What is he going to be getting per turn? It's going to be a very, very big number. I suppose. It's going to be like 50 or something. I don't know that we can get him. That's just going to have to do. Hopefully 46 is the right number. <clears throat> that being said, I didn't leave 46 right there. Okay. So he might actually still be able to get a card. Shoot. Let's try that, though. <clears throat> he doesn't have a trade-in, so I'm coming quite a lot, quite substantially off cap, leaving a number that he can't break again. Should have left a little bit more than a 40. Oh, my God, he gets a great roll. He's going to go look at the cap. <laughs> no, he's not. Okay. So we really need to hope that he doesn't have a trade here. If I have a trade here, great. I don't. He started with... This is important. 36. So, like, 45. 45 was just about the right number, wasn't it? Okay. So, let's take the gamble. The gamble that he doesn't get a trade in here. Oh, he's bringing some off now. Okay. Yeah, so if I had a trade in th on three, this would have been pretty great. 
Well, this might be fine. Because what I can do here is zero you down. Come here. Leave a bit more. And then use this stack like this. Oh no, I left the 27 there. No, I've done this horribly wrong. I did that very bad. Oh, I'm doing this so bad. What I should have done, obviously, was <laughs> just left like another 70 stack here and then fortified back to here, obviously. I've given him yet another card. A lot of, just a lot of, a lot of little mistakes here. But he does turn in. Okay, let's see if he, he, might, he might go for this capital. A lot of little mistakes. He cannot cap run. Although he may think that he can. Okay, but now we actually have him. Now, despite our many mistakes, we actually have him. So he knows he can't cap run. He might go check the other cap. But now we actually got him and we win the game. Let's go. Okay, now it's easy. He's gonna have to bring a lot out, but I don't want to tell him that. I don't want him to know. Hopefully he opens the 37. Not, not the best, not the cleanest end game, but we're, we're in good position now. <clears throat> now we got this. He needs to bring like a ton off to challenge me here. Okay. Brings a bunch off. A, a bunch off. Really a bunch. He left his secret stack right there, but I saw it. <laughs> he left the secret stack for me. Um, <clears throat> okay. So I know that it's there, so we need to navigate around it. Let's see how much of this we can get. I think he's got some stack. It was a 10. Okay. But here, I'm going to go like this. This time, we're not messing around. Okay, this is going to be like something proper. Oh, no, wait. I have messed up. Oh, no, wait. I have messed up. I didn't defend against these other breaks. But I think that's fine. A few, you know, just a few blunders here and there. He can get a card in here. It's okay. It's his second card. So it's fine. I now have a trade in. He can get a second card, but then he's blocked. He's going to try his luck up top. He's going to have to start coming off that other cap. He saves this card because I might not see it. <laughs> but he left a sneak stack right here. He might have, like, nothing on his capitals, basically. But we're going to play it cautiously. We don't want to throw away an hour-long game with some sort of un incautious <laughs> thing here. So I want to choose wisely. Maybe I do just blast him here, though. I bet he left something. I bet he left it right here. I bet he did. Let me let me see if I got this guy figured out. I think he left the stack right here. I bet you that's where he put it. So let's make everything stuff that he can't hit. Just make sure nothing gets through here. And let's do it like this. Okay. So my weakest thing right now is my 50. So I'm going to put this on the 50. I think we've finally done it, okay? He was very slippery. <laughs> he is getting 41, but he now cannot get a card on this turn. I know he's leaving stacks. He's a very strong player. We have a lot of respect for their game. We must card block them. Trade on three means pretty insta win, but we finally got there. He can try to hit the 60. He's now bringing stuff off. There it is. Uh, okay. I think we should be able to... There's no way. That's his whole cap, I'm, I'm sure. So we should be able to... Yeah. Oh, he left a little bit here as well. Um. Interesting. Got him. <laughs> sure, that had to hurt. And we'll put this... I guess I have a 70 and a 72, but whatever. We'll put those guys over here. Now he's going to bring everything else off cap, I'm sure. Oh my god, he got through. He got through. He got a third card. Oh my god. <laughs> he got through. Okay. So he's in he's in pretty bad shape. Pretty, pretty bad shape here. Uh, let's go here. He does have a 55. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, you can get hit with one of those. And you know what? Since you're looking at me funny, why don't you get hit with one of those? We slowly creep in. We massively outproduce them. We get cards, so they do not get cards. <laughs> we are going to win this game against a very noble and worthy opponent. Uh, he is saying well played. I will approach with caution. 
And by caution, I mean reckless abandon. He does give this up. Okay. Um, I'm going to wait one more turn. I think that... Uh, I think he's saying thanks. Okay. I think we'll, we'll just... We'll, we should probably be able to do it. Good game. Well played. If he was on any of the caps, I'm just giving him one opportunity to come off of the capitals. But let's see what's going on. This should this should just be enough. We know we wore him down. I don't really want to world dom him. Let me see. He's just off the caps, right? Yeah, he fully conceded. Good game. That's how you do it. <laughs> I was giving him one extra turn to come off the caps, and I kind of figured a noble player might actually just be fully conceding. So we're not going to waste any more of his time. He's saying thanks. And this player I actually believed. I didn't think he was going to be fooling anybody. But we just wanted to make sure that we took home the W today against a sea of experts and a Grandmaster. Holy cow, insanely stacked lobby. This was a novice to Grandmaster game, but not a lot of novices in this one. And if you want to make sure that you can win high-level games, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, and I'll see you guys for another video.